Rock Climbing Grandma here. In this video, I'll be taking a walk in the wintry woods and trying out my new micro spikes. Well, I never did get to use my micro spikes. Rock Climbing Grandma here. In this video, I'm going to go for a walk in the wintry woods and I'm going to lay in a hammock and do some other fun stuff. And I'm going to show you all the stuff that I brought with me. So hang on for a wild ride. There we have a glacial erratic. Wow, it's a beautiful day today. Uh, we had about two, three inches of snow and now it's like 44 degrees out and the woods just look beautiful. I'm expecting a lot of snow, maybe some mud, not much ice. I was hoping for ice. But that's okay, let's go uh, check it out. So I have a question. Are you a winter hiker? Would you ever hike and hang out in a hammock in the woods? Or do you think I'm completely out of my mind? Let me know in the comment section down below. I found some deer tracks. Yay, more than one. Must be a deer path. Hello. Saw your tracks over there. Yeah, it's a good day for a walk, isn't it? You have your winter coat, I see. Do I have your permission to put you on YouTube? Hello? I guess the deer didn't give me permission to put him on YouTube. I'm gonna do it anyway. Time to take off my sweatshirt. <laughs> so, I wanted to put my backpack down and I realized there's snow everywhere and if I put my backpack down, I was gonna get covered in snow. Guess what? Osprey comes with a rain cover. At least my Osprey did. So now I can just take the Osprey out, lay it right down on the ground, and I have a place to put my backpack where it's nice and dry. <sighs> Whew. 44 degrees, taking stuff off, wow. So if you are interested in checking out any of the things that I used in this video, I will leave you some links below to check out. The sun, man, the sun is in my eyes. I'm sorry, um, I will leave you some links below if you wanna check out more, hey, just sunglasses or say, uh, There is a good thing about today being 44 degrees and not frozen. And that is that I don't have to worry about my water freezing. <laughs> That's always a plus. I'm gonna go ahead and take the high mountain trail. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the top or not because I'm limited on time today, but we'll see how far I get. Mushy, gushy stuff. Ooh this is the good stuff. Don't forget to like if you like this video. So I didn't make it to the tippy top, uh, but I certainly made it up somewhere. And I found a couple of good trees here that I could hang a hammock from and uh, sit down, have a snack, maybe drink something hot. So here we are in the woods with deers and snow and mud and food. This is the life. <laughs> So I bought the Eno hammock and the Eno tree straps that goes with it, and that's pretty much what I use. Um, the tree straps are kind of heavy if you're trying to go light, but um, I use them because I'm trying to take care of the bark of trees. Um, but here you go. I'm going to show you how I set up to uh, swing in my hammock. So here's an example of a tree I probably will not be using to hang my hammock because it's got some furry vine on it. Okay, I found a couple of halfway decent trees. Um, fairly good around that I know that they're gonna hold my weight. Uh, I checked up to make sure there's no um, widow makers, which is basically an old limb hanging from a tree that might fall down on your head. <laughs> the Eno hammock comes in this great bag with the drawstring. Also has this handy dandy clip on the bottom. So if you needed to clip it to the outside of your backpack or anything, it's great. And then I attached it to the tree straps, which come in this bag. So everything is kept together. I just pop these into my day pack and ready to go. This is a tree strap. Basically it has a loop in the one end of it. So you would loop the rest of it around this and stick it around the tree. Um, I still have my ridge line attached to here for when I have a rain fly on there. At the other end you can see you have like a daisy chain sort of thing. 
So you have the ability to change where you're hanging your hammock without changing where you tied it on the tree. Okay, so now to remove the hammock from its sack. And you'll see, drawstring, that once I pull this guy out of here, this sack is actually attached. So that way, you're not gonna lose it. You can actually use it to put stuff in while you're hanging. So, very handy feature. Uh, I have the double nest, you know double nest. Um, it does come with these carabiner. I can't remember how much these hold, but I'll try and put a little uh, text there to show you how much that holds. Um, but this is what you attach to those tree loops in one of the loops on the daisy chain side. So as you can see, I was able to adjust where I wanted that hammock to sit by just moving up or down a loop on that daisy chain. And now I've got the perfect hang for today. All right, now that that's all done, I'm gonna have to uh, make something to drink. Oh, this is great actually. Yeah, you know what? Nah, I'm just turning you off now. You having a good time today? I hope you are. Well, if you are, I hope you'll subscribe and maybe even ring the bell and be notified when my next bit comes up. Fortunately, you can disconnect the rainfly from the Osprey backpack in case you want to use it for other things. I use the jet boil um, that's enough for two people because I figured I'm gonna have people coming with me on these hikes. I wanna make sure that there is enough for them too. The actual stove part of it comes in a little bag. It screws right on the top. And then this part pops right on top of here. Twisted. Now, the good thing about that is this is really secure. But uh, the bad thing about that is when you go to take the top off, you can't touch this part when it's hot. And so you can't unscrew it easily to take it off. So I end up pouring with the pot actually attached to the fuel. Okay, to get this thing started, there's actually a button right here. Uh, when you press that button, it put, produces a little spark. And then this little wire handle here on the side, you turn it and it starts the gas flow. And with those together, you should get a decent flame. Ta-da! It also comes with this stabilizer, which incidentally fit neatly into the triangle part of the lid that goes on the pot. And this stabilizer will fit on a large propane tank or a small one. Make sure that you set your pot on a nice stable ground so it doesn't fall over easily. You can choose to use the lid or not. Okay, so here's my bladder that I carry. It came with my Osprey when I bought it. Um, normally, if I'm hiking with more than one person, I'll bring two liters. Today, I brought about one liter because I knew I wanted to have something hot to drink. Um, and basically, I just pour it right out of here into the pot. <sighs> What's really amazing right now is I have not gotten cold at all, but I'm going to put on my sweatshirt because uh, I don't want to get too cold. It was like 60 seconds and I already got a boil. It's really fast, this jet boil. This cup I got last year when I competed in the Tri-State Bouldering Series. Um, and I really like this cup and it's very light, but it doesn't have any insulation in the cold. So I have this sock that I basically just put around the outside of it and it's a wool sock. So if I do this, not only do I have insulation for my hand, but I also am able to keep my drink warm. <laughs> Never leave trash in the wild. Always find a place to put it secure and throw it away at home. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
always carry a spoon to stir your hot chocolate up. I forgot mine. Great. And when you're missing your spoon, use the fork you found in your backpack. Works great. Yeah, so now I gotta leave the woods, which I really don't want to do because this is uh, this is just great. I don't want to leave. Yeah, yeah. See, even the bird agrees with me. Anyway, well, uh, thanks for stopping by. It was great to see you here. Yeah, it was great to see you too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to be notified of any future videos coming up. And uh, why don't you leave a little link in the bottom if you know how to take hot chocolate out of socks. <laughs>